The town of Bruden still hasn't fully recovered from the floods of April and August. And now they have this. An estimated $1 million in damage in downtown Bruton was caused by the 5.20 a.m. explosion. The cause is still undetermined. Fortunately, no one was hurt, but one policeman was almost caught in the midst of the blast. When I passed by the building and uh, just looking at everything, checking it over again, making a routine check, and I turned at the red light and go south, and I got about a block and a half away, and the explosion hit, hit the back of the car, the concussion, and I just shook the car all over the street. And I got turned around, I seen it flames way up in the air a couple of hundred feet, maybe more. All that remains of the Holocaust is rubble. They used to be White's Auto and Home Store and Salter's Floor Covering. The flames were put out within an hour, except for some that are apparently being fed by a ruptured gas line, although there's no record of one being there. Cleanup operations will start when the fire is extinguished. One official says a disaster aid probably will be sought. They need some help from somewhere because they never did recover hardly anything like the damage in the floods. And then things like this keep going on. You can't keep standing them, I don't think. Four buildings were completely demolished, and three others nearby were severely damaged in the explosion. Another 25 around the town suffered extensive plate glass damage. One report says the blast was felt as far as 12 miles away. It took only a matter of seconds for this section of downtown Bruton to be completely destroyed by this early morning blast. And now it might take months or even years to get it restored. John Keffer for Channel 10 Newsbeat from Bruton, Alabama.